Fox 10 News at 5. Well, the struggling economy has affected just about everyone and everything. We've heard about dogs and cats, for instance, being left behind because people can't afford them. This is a problem now affecting horses as well. Laura Sample just returned from a horse rescue center. Laura has that story tonight, and it was very interesting what's happening to people who can't afford these horses anymore. Well, that's right, John, and we're also talking about goats, sheep, and donkeys, basically farm animals that people used to be able to afford but are now leaving to die. Before I started shooting. You could never tell by looking at these healthy horses that not too long ago they were near death, neglected, starving, some left abandoned. Well, it all breaks my heart. Otherwise, I wouldn't have this many here. Susan Thompson with this New River Animal Rescue can't say no. She's now caring for up to 60 horses. That's about 30% more than usual. Don't you be mean to Sunday. Thompson says the economy and irresponsible horse owners are to blame. It costs about 200 bucks a month just to feed a horse, not to mention vet care and grooming. It's too much for struggling horse owners, so they leave them to die or drop them off here. And now it's too much for rescues in Arizona. This little colt became an orphan after his feedlot mom died one day after arriving here. Rescues are getting fuller and fuller, and rescues are going under every day because they can't buy the feed and they don't have the support. Donations are down. We're in big trouble. For owners who neglect or abandon their horses, a strong message from Thompson. Do what you need to do to keep that animal in health and to try to find a good home for the animal or a good place for the animal. Horse rescues all over the valley are needing donations. For more information, log on to myfoxphoenix.com and we'll have a link for you. Reporting live, Laura Samble, Fox 10 News. No 